Hey everyone, today we're going to install the front mount on the cruiser. To start off with, we need to do some planing. I test fitted a few different size intercoolers, and this 600 by 300 by 100 is slightly too large if you want to have it dead center, as it fails on the AC lines on this side. Still could have worked, but it's overkill, so I stepped down to a 550 by 300 by 75 and it made fit much nicer. Here's a quick size comparison of the two coolers the 600 versus the 550. In preparation for the cooler piping, I made two panos, either side of the rad support. The plan is to keep the cooler piping as short as possible to keep the response nice. The aluminium tube I use for the cooler piping is two and a quarter or 57 mil. Nice fit in there. Two and a half was just a little bit too wide. I cut these panos with a saber saw grinder and drill. It was a bit of a mission, but a quick tidy up with the die grinder made it look nice. This is a nice manifold adapter I found online. It makes connecting your cooler pipe nice and easy. I used a standard bolt here on the bottom of the rad support and made a basic bracket out of some aluminium angle. It supports the cooler nicely on the bottom. I just rated my inner cooler pipe collection for the remainder of the tubes. I found some nice sections that fit, fit really good, just needed a little bit of adjustment. I decided to weld two and a half inch aluminium elbows on the cooler. This is not needed at all, but I just like the look of it. And I also tried to reduce the amount of silicon joiners I use in the whole system. You can easily do this task without the welder and heaps of silicon joiners, but that's definitely not what I'm after. I couldn't have my daily off the road too long, so big thanks to Lawson who welded this up in no time. Now time to pull your TIG out and start fabricating. So this is how it turned out pretty happy with the final product. Very tight over here on the cold side, but it worked. Also the best hose clamps are these breeze ones. They're standard issue with DTS turbo kits and safari snorkels and they're cheap and you can get them from anywhere. Also one other important thing is make sure you make a good bracket here. This keeps your bonnet down. And make sure it's preloaded a little bit otherwise the bonnet will float. In the future might rotate this over here or make a whole new inlet manifold but that's it for now next video we'll wind the boost up chuck it on the dyno make some jam thanks everyone for watching see you next time